Welcome everyone to Montgomery County's Engage at Home, brought to you by the County's Caregiver Support Program. Our guest today is Stuart Rosenthal, the editor and publisher with the Beacon Newspapers. Stuart, would you just remind our guests all about the amazing things that the Beacon does in our region? Thank you, Lily. First, it's a pleasure to be on your show again. I really appreciate the opportunity. So the Beacon's been around for 32 years. We are a free monthly publication geared to people over 50. We say it's for pre-retirees, retirees, and their families. It's mostly a feature publication with health, finance, travel, the arts, housing, and it's, it's features of that sort. And then it's got some news about what's going on in the local community with the form of Beacon Bits, things that you can go and do and have fun with. And the paper's totally free. We distribute it more than 100,000 copies every month throughout the metropolitan area. If you're having trouble finding it because you're not going out as much as you're used to and you can't get it at, of course, libraries and senior centers, then look at grocery stores and pharmacies uh, and then give us a call if you can't find it. And we'll look on our list and tell you near where you live you can pick up a copy. And, of course, you can always read it online at thebeaconnewspapers.com as well. Excellent. Thank you. And I'm going to include that link in the description with this episode because I really like looking at The Beacon online. I think you've done an excellent job and it's so dynamic. Thank you. One more thing I guess I should mention in that case, you'll also find on our website, although you have to look at the very bottom of the homepage, something called the Resource Guide. That's an annual phone directory we publish in partnership with Montgomery County governments. It's a thousand listings, A to Z, of every possible, not only government agency, but nonprofit and business as well, that services older adults in particular areas. And there's a full table of contents and a full index in the back, and you can really find pretty much anything you need in that phone directory. It's also free, and you can pick it up where you pick up the beacon, or you can look at it online and search it there as well. Beautiful. And as Stuart said, the beacon uh, resource guide is something that we use extensively here in the county, and it really is worthwhile. So all those links are going to be included in the description. Now, I have invited Stuart here today because the beacon has pivoted well with COVID and has developed a virtual 50 plus expo. It's amazing and it's running now through into 2021. Stuart, take your time and tell us all about it. Okay. Well, those of you who have been to our, our real expos, I should call them in the past, not virtual, but in-person expos, we've done them for more than 20 years. We usually do them in a, uh, a nice big facility where there's plenty of room for 100 exhibitors and health screenings and flu shots and speakers and classes and all kinds of things. It's always been a great deal of fun and very popular event, also free. Unfortunately, this year, of course, because of the pandemic, we have to do it virtually. But, you know, when we thought about it, we said, you know, maybe it's not all totally unfortunate because doing it virtually means we have no limitation on space. Of course, we can't do flu shots. We can't do health screenings, but we can have as many speakers, as many classes, as many entertainers as we feel like. And we have really, I think, gone a little overboard, but you'll find about 60 different programs on our virtual website at beacon 50 Expo. Dot com. That's beacon50expo.com. I'll tell you a little bit about the various things we have. And we pull them from all kinds of resources, with the, working with the county, working with private groups, working with our sponsors and exhibitors. So for speakers, for example, we have a whole series of very interesting programs. There's a CIA analyst talking about the Cuban Missile Crisis that he lived through and what it was like. There's an interview with the oldest living Tuskegee Airman. It's 103. Fascinating interview. Uh, there's a... a program that was done at the White House uh, about design under Jackie Kennedy, and it's a hist White House Historical Association uh, program. Uh, the National Eye Institute talks about eye diseases and what's the latest news on that. We have caregiving speakers, we have uh, staying healthy at home, and of course we have a keynote speaker who's really great, Dr. Ken Dykdwald. He's the author of 17 books on aging. He's a, he's a well-renowned gerontologist, and he's written a new book about what he calls the third age of life. And it's about what retirement really offers to us nowadays as we've gotten older and as the world has changed around us. It's really a very interesting in interview. I, I, I interview him at the end and we have a nice back and forth and I recommend you listen to that as well. That's just the speakers. So now let's look at classes, Okay, you, which by the way, you get to the, the website. It's not complicated. The website has four quadrants. It says speakers, classes, entertainers, and exhibitors. 
and all you do is you click on whichever one of those things you are most interested in and you'll see options by topic area then you click on your topic and you'll see the options there and you just start a video whenever you want you could stop it whenever you want you can watch this 24 7 you can be wearing your pajamas you know it's totally up to you when and how you do this and it's on free of charge through the end of January 2021 through January 31st so there's a number of weeks left for you all to uh, to go on there and enjoy so classes let's talk about those for a minute we have cooking classes, a number of you know really hands-on classes showing you how to do healthy cooking at home, some very interesting recipes. We have dance classes, how to do line dance and country dance, the kind of thing you can sort of do on your own in your home while watching a Zoom. You can sort of participate with other people. They, they play the music and you can dance along. We have an art class, a really wonderful introduction to pastels by a friend of mine. Uh, we have a meditation class. We have exercise classes like Tai Chi and yoga. We also have a class on financial classes, how to avoid scams. I mean, again, the topics just go on and on in the classes department. And each of these videos is somewhere between half an hour and an hour. They're not too long. Uh, and as I say, you can stop them whenever you want and come back and watch the rest of it later. Entertainment is one of the best sections, I think. I'm really excited about this part. Uh, we have barbershop, barbershop chorus, including singing a big Christmas program and a non-Christmas program. We have stand-up comedy. Uh, some of it's a little bit off-color, so if you don't like that, stay away. If you do like it, it's your kind of thing. Great. Um, we also have a clip from the old Carol Burnett show, and we have a clip from Mitten's Got Talents and really good comics. Um, we have a jazz piano pianist. We have a jazz trio. We have rock and soul performers. We have a classical music trio. And we have this phenomenal young pianist. He's 17 years, 18 years old, to take it back. And he's just amazing, and he plays this very jazzy classical kind of piece that I really love, and I recommend you listen to him as well. Maxime Lando is his name. He's under Entertainers. And then, of course, as I say, we have exhibitors. Now, the exhibitors are government agencies, nonprofits, and businesses of all types where they each have what's called a landing page. You just click on their name or their logo, you go to a page, and it tells you basically what it is they are, what do they do. There's a little short video about them, and then there's a way to contact them if you want more information. You can go right to their website, you can send them an email right from the page, you can get their phone number and call them right away. Any way you want to get in touch with them is fine. Uh, or you don't have to get in touch with them at all. You, you, know, you can just go on with the information that you've gleaned. But it's very informative, and we have you know, estate planning, health and wellness, home care, retirement housing, legal services, real estate, continuing education and arts. I mean, it's just so many topics. Um, it can be a little overwhelming, so, you know, don't go expecting to spend eight hours <laughs> on the site. You wouldn't want to do that. But go whenever you feel like you want to get some charge with either entertainment or a class or a speaker or pick up some information you might need and spend as much time as you want there. You can stay as long as you like, come back as often as you like. But don't forget, when you're there, we have a $100 cash door prize drawing every single week. So you want to register for the door prize. It's very easy to do. You just click on door prize and you put in your email address so that we can contact you if you win. Uh, and that's all there is to it. And the drawing's every week, so you have to register each week when you come to be in that week's drawing. But that encourages you to come back and see something you haven't seen already. So I've talked a lot, Lily. How do, what do you think? Have I said everything oh, I need to say? <laughs> I love it because it's a mixture of the Kennedy Center, a community center, a big regional festival, going to a nightclub, um, going heading, heading to um, you know one of you know a, a resource fair. You've actually captured so much in a space where people can just keep on coming. They don't have to do it all in that, you know, four hours on the weekend once a year. They could actually right. go a couple of times a week and enjoy it. Exactly. I love the way you put that. It was really great. I, that sounds really good. Thank you. Oh, I see you've been there and I hope you've enjoyed it too. <laughs> oh, I do. And I'm actually going to be um, having a special guided tour of the 50 plus expo that the beacon is hosting and i'll link that to this program so people can actually see what stuart was talking about dynamically thank you that's great so um we're getting near the end of our time together so i just want you to just have a little bit of a reflection on that advice to to family caregivers that You've got an amazing um, expo that's running now right through to um, 2021 in January. For family caregivers, what do you think are a couple of takeaways that you know they're going to um, gain by joining and visiting? 
Well, something that I know is very evident on your side, and it's also on ours, very, very important point, caregivers need to take care of themselves first. Because if they don't take care of themselves, they won't have enough bandwidth to take care of anyone else. It's sort of like on the airplane, when the, when the masks drop down, they say, put your own on first, then help your child. Because if you run out of oxygen, you're not going to be much help to them. So I think that's a very important point for caregiving that, that is made. Mm, thank you. I'm so grateful to you and the team at The Beacon for all the work that you're doing for folk in Montgomery County and this entire region. Thank you so much, Lee. I really appreciate what you're doing as well. It's phenomenal. So, Stuart, before we go, would you please remind folk of how they can access all of this online? Sure. You go to beacon50expo.com, B-E-A-C-O-N 50expo.com. And you can go to our website, which is the Beacon Newspapers, the Ness at the end, dot com. And from either of those sites, you can get to the other site as well. So uh, either way, you can get there. But Beacon 50 Expo is probably the easiest way. Beautiful. And as I mentioned earlier, I will include links to all of these websites that Stuart has mentioned. And then I'm going to be creating a separate program that really gives people a guided tour to the expo, because as you can see, this is somewhere that we want you to go many times. Thank you again. Thank you, everyone. So Stuart, I want to thank you for your time today. And I want to thank our audience. This has been Engage at Home. And as always, I remind you to stay healthy and calm.